Alright, in this video I'm going to remove the Ms. Pac-Man PCB and repair that edge with a new edge from the real Bob Roberts. As you can see, there's that burnt edge right there. I'm going to try and clean that up and solder on a new edge. So first thing I'm going to do is remove this board. Alright, first let's pull off this ribbon cable here in the back. Then I'm just going to undo these three screws right here. And this side edge will allow us to slide out the PCB board. Slide this right out. And there we go. So in an attempt to repair that hum bar that goes across, I'm going to first use this edge repair kit and repair the edge on the PCB board and we'll see where we end up after that. And the next thing I'm going to do is replace the fuse block which is in this kit and then last but not least if possible or if I have to I will replace the edge connector um, from the harness using the, the Molex that's in here. So here's that kit and here is the radio, frequ uh, radio frequency filter board that I pulled off and it isn't needed but it's got a good edge on it and I'm just going to play with this to see how that new edge will actually work. So the idea is that you put on this new edge and you will solder it in place and that will give you the new edge that you need because if you remember that edge is burnt on my PCB board. Now there is a little bit of wiggle room here so I may need to bend these pins down and I think what I might do is you know maybe solder one side on and then when I'll flip it over and solder the other side so that I know that at least one side is firmly attached. So I think that how it will work and that should work well. Well at least it'll work. It'll be better than nothing. It'll be better than it was because what happened is that this edge burnt on the PCB and I'll show you that right now. So here's the edge and if you take a look right over here this is the burnt part and you can tell that they've tried to do some solder repair here to make that thing work but when you put the new when you put the harness on it doesn't make a good connection with this and causes a hum bar, or at least I think that's what's causing it. So we'll use this new edge and hopefully we can put that on and we'll solder that in place and have a nice working edge. So here's the other side, back to the front. Let's see if we can clean up any more. Just sounds crunchy in there. Hopefully that scotch right pad cleans some of that stuff up. There's more of a good edge there than I thought. Okay, next I'll clean it with a scouring pad. So I'm just going to use a denatured alcohol and a scouring pad to clean up that edge connector over here. Alright, let's see if we can clean this up. All right. That already looks a lot better. Um, I have to look closely. I can't tell if it was just that extra solder that was on there. Yeah, I think so. I think it's just I think it's missing a couple points right there. And that was that's what was causing the problem. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the other side now. Oh look, some of that actually just came off. There we go. Yeah, that part of that just came right off because because it's burnt underneath. All right, I'm definitely going to have to replace that edge now. I was hoping maybe there'd be enough there, but that's okay. Well, it looks better, it looks cleaner. So the next thing to do will be to figure out how to solder this on so that we have a nice, good, solid connection. Because over here, it needs to come back. And what I may do is cut a piece of wire and tin it and attach it to both of those leads and solder it back here so that way it's got a good solid contact. Okay, so my plan is to take this new fingerboard using uh, this side here. I will solder that on to the old edge and this is the damaged side that we cleaned up and the other side is a little bit worse. I'll show you that real quick. Take a look here. There's actually been some parts that have fallen off when we cleaned it. So what I'm going to do on the back side is run a couple wires a little bit further back to that contact to make sure we get a good ground there. So what I've done is I've used a couple things to help prop this up. And I'm going to put this new edge on the fingerboard here. And I'm contemplating I will you know put it up flush or move it out just a little bit and I think I'm gonna move it out just a little bit because there's these holes on the side that's going to get soldered and I think I might use them to help keep it on uh, but if I put it on flush they line up with the burn marks on this edge here I don't really want to do that so I'm gonna push it out I think just a little bit and I'm gonna use some electrical tape to hold it into place. So I'll solder this side on first because this is the better side. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll solder in just a few pieces, a few sides, the corners perhaps, just to get it tacked in. That will hold it while I get some solder in. So what I've done is I'm making sure that everything's lined up, and it is, and I've started to heat up that far corner. So I'm gonna put some solder in there, get that nice and in there. And then I'm going to come down a little bit and solder in further down the line to help hold it and support it. Then I'll go back to where I was and move down a little bit. Um, back down to the far side. And then what I'll do is I'll go back through and I'll do the rest off camera. So now that I've gone through and I've put a bunch of solder in, I'm actually going to remove the electrical tape 
that was supporting new edge and then I'll continue soldering in on the top and I just want to show that I can wiggle this slightly and it's still it's pretty it's pretty firmly attached at the moment so it's not going to go anywhere so now I'm going to come in and just finish soldering the rest of the points that need to get soldered on this side and then what I'm doing is after I put that initial solder down I'm, I'm coming back and filling it in just on top just to make sure that there's a good amount there so it's not going to go anywhere I like to let the soldering iron sit on there and flow the solder throughout that just to make sure that it's got a good contact a good solid connection. So I finished doing this side and I will admit that it's not pretty but it should work and last a long time with that new edge and hopefully we don't get that resistance that was building up in this section here before I've put hopefully an ample enough on there to go to that new connection and provide what is needed so if you can remember what I this was the burnt section of the board so what I did is I took a piece of stranded wire I fed it through the hole and what I'm going to do is solder it to the edge and actually to this point back here because they both go to the same spot. I'm going to do that twice for both holes there because that was both of the the burn section there. Okay, so let's go ahead and solder this point in. So I'm going to actually push down on the pin. We're going to feed some solder over to it. Hopefully that should follow that wire. And keep in mind this is going to be one ugly looking repair. But should work quite well. Now I'm going to go back and do this one right here and touch it up and we'll see how it looks. So now that that's in, what I should do is take my side snips here and come in and cut this off. And then we'll do the other side. I'm gonna, just going to check the continuity on the front side and make sure everything is good. And so far, so good. Let me clean a couple of these up just to make sure that there's a good connection. So if I find that I still get that humbar, one of the next things I'm going to do is fix the harness by making a new one. Uh, and I'm not going to take the time to do it at the moment just because it is time consuming. But what I could do is use this uh, and the new pins to make a new harness that would go right here on the edge. And should that not fix the problem. After doing the fuse block, this is what I'll do next. Okay, the board is back, plugged in. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Still hear a hum. 
That may be due to the fuse block, so that will be taken care of next. So I just want to turn the machine on again for you guys because I discovered something. So when I turn it on, there's a quite the audible hum. When I turn it on, so let's turn it on. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but it sounds like a buzzing noise. And if I wiggle these wires, it, that noise goes away. So I think one thing that I'm going to end up having to do is replacing that harness so that it doesn't do that anymore. And that just must be a bad connection inside it. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that. That'll be the next step to do.